Hello and welcome to Insight of Thermology. This is Dr. Amrit, welcoming you to another important lecture. Today we are studying the color vision testing, in which the most important one is the pseudo-isochromatic plate testing, mainly the Ishihara chart. So what is an Ishihara chart? The Ishihara chart is actually named after its designer, the Shinobu Ishihara, who first published this test in 1917. The plates are called pseudo-isochromatic plates, the pseudo isochromatic plates means that these color plates are designed in such a way and they have letters written on them and these will appear isochromatic to individuals who have color vision abnormality isochromatic means having similar color so that is the reason why these plates are called pseudo isochromatic they have numbers written on them which might not be visible to those with color vision blindness so these Ishihara charts are basically circles with randomized color dots as shown in this picture and these will be visible sometimes uh, some of them are designed in such a way that some plates are visible only to the color blinds some are not at all visible to the color blinds or some of them will be vi uh, visible in a modified way to the patients who have color blindness the complete Ishihara plates actually consist of total 38 plates the complete Ishihara testing com consists of this 38 plates however shortened versions of 21 plates is also available so what are the types of plates which we see in Ishihara tests these are the demonstration plates the transformation plates the vanishing plates the hidden digits plates the diagnostic plates and the tracing plates coming to the demonstrative plates the first plate which often consists of the number 12 is the demonstrative plate it is designed in such a way that everyone can have a look at this and everyone can uh, uh, identify the number which is written on the number one plate the number one plate is visible to the normal as well as also to the colorblind persons and the, the number which is usually written on that is number 12. Now since it's used for the demonstration purposes to explain the patient about the color vision uh, test uh, procedure therefore it is called a demonstrative plate. After that we have the transformation plates. The transformation plates are the plates which will be visible to a colorblind individual in a different way from the individual who does not have any color vision problem. The plates number are from the number second and to number ninth plate. So as we can see in this uh, table, number one plate is a demonstration plate which is visible as 12 to the normal person, to the colorblind person and also to the one who has total color blindness. How however, the transformation plates will be visible as different numbers to a patient who has red ring deficiency. Like for example, the number eight might be seen as three, six might be seen as five. However, a point to be noted here is that person who has total color blindness will not see any of these plates as well. So the transformation plates as you can see the number second plate is 8, the third plate is 6 and that might be seen as 3 or 5 to a patient with red green color blindness. Similarly these plates might be seen as 70 or 35 to a patient with red green color blindness. These plates again might be seen as 2 or 5 to a person with color blindness Similarly, these might be seen as 17 or 21 to a person with color blindness. Since the number that the colorblind patient tells you is totally different from what is written on that, these are called the transformation plates. The third type of plates are the vanishing plates. The vanishing plates are basically visible only to the patients who are normal. The colorblind patients will not be able to detect anything on these vanishing plates. And these plates are numbered from number 10th to 17th. Now, if you show these vanishing plates to a person with colorblindness, he will not be able to see anything. Now, there are some special plates which are seen only by the patients who have color blindness and these are called the hidden plates. So, in the hidden plates, the patient will be able to see more numbers rather than the normal individual. So, the hidden plates like this, a normal person will not see anything on those hidden plates whereas a person with color blindness might detect digits on the hidden plates as well. However, the one who is totally color blind is not going to see anything. After you know that the person is having color blindness by using the vanishing and the hidden plates or the transformation plates, 
Now it's important to diagnose what type of color blindness is present and what is the severity of that color blindness. For that, we will use the plate number 22, 23, 24 and 25. So these four plates are called the diagnostic plates. In this, the two digit numbers are written and based on the which number the patient is actually able to see clearly, the diagnosis of color blindness will be made in these patients. So here, as you can see, the first number is 26. So the patient might report seeing only two or only four or only three or nine. Or sometimes the patient might be able to see the other digit, the ones place, that is a six, two, five, or six. Now, based on that, you will give the diagnosis. So a person who is protonopia, who is having problem in seeing the red color digits more, he will actually be able to see six, the ones digit, the two, fifth, five, and six. That means only the numbers uh, which are present on the ones digit is what the patient will be able to see. Similarly, a patient who is a dutin who is having problem in seeing the uh, green digits will be able to see strongly the digits which are present here. That means on the 10th place, that is 2, 4, 3, and 9. Okay, so that is very important. So that is how you tell that the patient is strongly protonopic or strongly deuteronopic. Now, sometimes the patient will see both the digits, but he will tell you that either of the digit is less clear compared to the other one. And based on that also, you can tell whether it is mild protonopia or mild deuteronopia or whether it is a protonomaly or deuteronomaly. After that, we have the tracing plates, the last type of plate. This is basically used in illiterate patients or patients who are not able to uh, read the numbers. Or uh, So for them, you will actually have these plates specifically available and the patient has to trace the visible lines on the charts using his finger across the plate. So these are called the tracing plates. After you know about the plates, how do you actually test uh, uh, the patient and what's the procedure? For doing the Ishihara testing, a proper lighting is very uh, uh, essential to illuminate the page. It is very important that you not use any incandescent bulbs like yellow color because the yellow color bulbs will give inaccurate results. Moreover, the LED bulbs, fluorescent bulbs, they are quite better for carrying out the test. You have to give the patients the plates randomly instead of giving them one after the other because some patients might memorize the results and always give three seconds to the patient per plate and not more than that. Interpretation, it all depends on the institutional policy and the number of plates which are being tested. The US Navy actually tests about 14 plates and they are uh, leaving the first plate. Now they will score uh, the patient based upon those 14 plates and if the patient scores about 12 on 14 that is a pass and anything less than that is not pass so this is the, the shortened version of ishihara so as i told you 21 plates 15 plates like that 17 plates is also available so in this shortened version as you can see 17 plates are available and in this leaving out the first one the patient is tested for this uh, another from second to 15 that means a total of 14 plates and in those total of 14 plates the the marks are given for the patient and if he scores 12 on 14 he is usually considered pass. So that's all for Ishihara testing. Thank you and have a nice day.